Hello. This is the fourth in a series of demos dealing with software quality. In the first demo, we will take a new requirement for our auction application and modify the requirements document using Rational Requisite Pro. In the second demo, we will modify our current test plan to specify a new test case to test this requirement using Rational ClearQuest Test Management. In the third demo, we will implement this new test case as an automated test script created using the Rational Functional Tester. In the fourth, we will look at the manual process of functional testing by creating and executing a script created by the Rational Manual Tester. In the fifth demo, we will take the automated test script we've created, link it back to the test case, and then add it to a test schedule, execute it, and report a defect using ClearQuest Test Management. In the sixth demo, we will see how to extend our automated test script by adding custom code. And in the seventh demo, we will create a performance test script using Rational Performance Tester, add it to a performance schedule, and then test the auction application for performance. As before, we'll be testing the auction application. One of the features of Eclipse is, is to allow tools to be configured to show a narrow functionality, reducing the complexity to the user. We have taken advantage of that in our version of the manual tester here. In this version, we have only the manual tester perspective. Even the available views are specific to manual testing. Prior to this, the team had been using a spreadsheet to create and execute their manual tests. This has started to be cumbersome, so they are migrating the scripts into the manual tester using the import function. In the recent files tab, we can see that they have already imported three test cases. To continue the process, we'll enhance some of these scripts using the manual tester script editor. We'll start with the bid on flowers. As you can see, we have a script in the script editor that combines both text and graphics. This helps the tester visualize what the instructions ask them to do. The manual tester treats each step in the script as an individual element, but the feel of the editing is more like a word processor. The first thing we want to do is to add a new step at the start of the script, telling the tester to open up the auction application. We do this by creating a new line by hitting Enter at the front of the first step. We type in the instruction and then select the line so we can change the font from the default to that which is used in the other steps. Since auction is a keyword, let's highlight it in blue. Next, we add some graphics to the second step to make it clear what the instructions mean. The manual script editor lets us easily add graphics to our test scripts. We begin by making a new line under the instructions for the graphics. We do this with a control enter. And then use the capture menu function. And we can capture the image off the application which is currently active. We select and release the cursor, which takes us back to the script editor. A major feature of the manual tester is its ability to automate the entry and comparison of data. In the login step, we need to enter a user ID and a password. Rather than having the tester manually type in these fields, they can place the cursor in the appropriate field and then hit Control V to paste the item into the field. The manual tester has already placed the right data into the paste buffer automatically. For data verification steps, the tester need only select the data to be compared for correctness, use Control c to place it on the clipboard, and then use the Compare function in the manual tester to test the data against the expected value. We'll see both of these in actions when we execute our script. Our final step is to put a reporting point at the end of the test. We have several steps that are verification points, steps where we verify specific items. 
The reporting point is an overall assessment of a section of the test or the test as a whole. We enter a new script line and then tell the script editor that it is a reporting point. We'll ask if the bid is completed successfully. Another way of looking at a script is in the outline view. In this view, we have all of the scripting steps in an outline arrangement. We can select script steps and go to them directly for editing. However, it has more powerful function. The nature of manual tests is that they usually involve scripts that start from the very beginning of the application and grow through similar steps to reach the point that is to be specifically tested. In the automated script of the previous demo, our strategy was to create small, narrow scripts with the intent of stringing them together to complete all of the required steps. This gives us a lot of reuse capability with our scripts. We can do the same thing with a manual tester. There are three steps, starting the application, logging in, and reporting the overall results of the test that we would like to reuse. To do this, we simply select each one and drag it over to the reuse view. And now, we'll reuse these statements in another test script. We'll do this in the bid on toy script. We do the same process, but in reverse. We'll do the same for the login statement and did the bid complete statement. We'll add the login after we've made our toy selection. 